Joining us now, Bill Strickland, editor-at-large for Bicycling Magazine, who had unique access to Lance Armstrong during his 2009 comeback tour, and he joins us now. Good to see you here this morning, Hi, Bill. Chris. Um, we just heard in the 60 Minutes piece, Tyler Hamilton, at least two others coming out, testifying for a grand jury, um, that, that Lance did, in fact, use performance-enhancing drugs. Is this evidence now credible enough that he finally needs to say, you know what, it, I did do it? It's certainly uh, the fact that Tyler is corroborating Floyd. Both of them independently have some credibility problems. The fact that they're both saying the same thing is pretty damaging to Lance. Uh, the news about George Hincapie is probably more damaging uh, than Tyler. We also heard from Frankie Andreo, and then he noticed that teammates uh, in the Armstrong era all getting faster. It was very, very difficult to compete with competitors who were using uh, um, EPO and other performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, was it one of those elements where you just, in order to keep up, you got to shoot up, that type of uh, mentality? Uh, sure. The best that could be said of him, he was the champion of a dirty era. We looked at the top 10 finishers of all seven tours he won. 41 out of 70 have been convicted of doping, confessed to doping. It's you know, just an era filthy with dope. Yeah, you had, um, like we said, some exclusive access to Lance over the years in some unique situations. You asked him point blank, did you ever use PEDs? What did he say to you? He looked me in the eyes and said, I'm looking you in the eyes and telling you no. We were on a bike ride together. Very powerful when he looks directly at you and says that. And you believed him? I did. And now that you've seen these reports, this 60 Minutes interview with some of his fellow teammates, now what do you think? Well, I've thought, uh, I wrote a story in May for Bicycling, uh, which is on our website, bicycling.com, that said I thought he was guilty. Uh, I knew he had doped. Uh, in the course of investigating and being around him, I finally found uh, the conviction. So I've, I've known for a while. This is just inevitable, I think. Do you think that this is strong enough that Lance Armstrong finally has to go the route of like a Mark McGuire uh, or other famous steroid users like an A-Rod and come out and say, you know what, I did do it? Or does he continue to kind of go down the line of a Roger Clemens who vehemently denies any type of performance enhancing drugs, no matter how concrete the evidence may be? Look, Lance is a fighter. He's going to go all the way. Uh, I know he thinks he won't be indicted. I, I tend to think that as well. A lot of people out there, he has a big fan base, a lot of people on his side. I don't think he's going to uh, confess. But he will fight this. All right, Bill Strickland, thank you very much. Good to see you this thank morning. You.